An explosion rocks the island. Hazmat teams rush to the scene. Under tight time constraints, they scramble to identify a mysterious chemical that caused chaos. That scenario has only played out during drills. But what if a real-life emergency occurred? If something like that ever took place, the Department of Environmental Health and Fire Services crews will be ready. Recently, the Department of Environmental Health obtained a piece of equipment which we're really excited about. It's called a True Defender, and it allows us to be able to identify unknowns um, in the either in the hazardous waste arena or under emergency response and one part of the purchase of that is that we have a trainer come in to show us how to use the instrument properly. Primarily what I want the staff members to understand is how to use the actual technology, how the technology works. This is a very cutting edge type of technology. It is bringing basically laboratory spectroscopic techniques out of the laboratory and into the field so that field users can utilize it and be able to make chemical identifications in the field. If they can do that and they can be safe and they can be accurate and precise out in the field, then I think I've pretty much done my job. If you get a call for a white powder, a weapon of mass, a suspected weapon of mass destruction, uh, any kind of a hazardous material that could be a leak out of a, out of a landfill or out of a large building or on a cruise ship, any kind of suspected hazardous material that could be a bomb, it could be an explosive, or it could be some kind of a poison or a toxin. These devices are designed to start performing analysis on that. You've got to be able to make those analyses quickly and easily, and I mean, it's, if, if nothing else to say to everybody at the airport after you just evacuated them, it's already it's safe to go back in within, a, within an hour or so. Although a small device, the True Defender is the most up-to-date technology available. This is the most modern piece of equipment that's being used in the big cities and back in the United States. I've done a number of trainings of this uh, particular type of equipment. As a supervisor, I feel a lot better if I have the tools that can protect my staff. We do a lot of training, um, in some cases annual, some cases more often than that, where we're, we're training people in how to respond to hazardous situations, how to wear the appropriate protective um, equipment. And this is just one more step in that. It makes them safer and it, as you say, it makes them more confident that they are protected when they're going into situations. The device will benefit both first and second emergency responders. We're not exactly first responders, the fire service is first response but we are kind of like second response with regards to hazardous materials or hazardous materials emergencies or unknowns. So in very often it, we are required to um, suit up and, in level A protective gear and go into hot zones where we don't know what we're dealing with. So this instrument allows us to be able to identify unknown materials under emergency situations. In addition to that, at the landfill we get a lot of unlabeled waste or potentially hazardous waste that comes in for disposal. And this instrument will also allow us to be able to identify and treat appropriately um, any stuff that comes into us. Taking samples in the field saves time back at the office. Because we are a small lab, our equipment and supplies, as well as our human resources, are limited. And if we have unknowns, the current procedure is to collect them and send them overseas for analysis. Um, with restrictions on transportation of potentially hazardous um, materials, uh, this is a problem. So for us to be able to have the technology on hand to be able to do this sort of stuff ourselves is very important. Anytime they get a spectrum that the machine cannot handle, they can actually email that spectrum to us and the corporation and we will get an answer or an analysis of that spectrum within two hours back to them. Those who completed the training can share their knowledge with others about the True Defender. Departments won't need to recruit overseas consultants because the information is already on island. If they need to know anything else, they can just contact the company free of charge. <music>